Guys, have you seen this game? Do you know how dangerous this is, especially for someone who loves food like me? I love food from Monster Hunter and even Final Fantasy. This this is going to be... Oh, man. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Cooking with Ken show. And today we're going to be cooking some ginger lime pork tenderloin. But first of all, let us cue some cooking music, shall we? All right, let's head over here and take a look at our ingredients. What do we need to cook this very delightful dish? Well, we're gonna definitely need some cucumbers. We're also gonna be grabbing some nice chili peppers for that zesty, spicy, mm-mm, hot flavor. Let's go ahead and make this a bit easier and grab ourselves a dish so we can grab the ingredients. So we need some chili peppers and let's see what we got here. And we need more chili peppers, uh, some lemon, and then we're gonna need some oranges and I'll explain all this to you in a bit oranges are good some garlic all right and we're also gonna grab some bananas don't worry folks the bananas is for us to eat while we're cooking we're not gonna use this this is too much for you guys so we're gonna keep the bananas out here all right and for this very nice dish we're gonna be using this wok right here so i'm gonna teach you how to separate all your ingredients out before we chop it up and make this delicious sirloin all right next up we're gonna be looking in our fridge to find the ingredients that we're working with today and uh i'm gonna be looking for those sirloins oh it's beef chunks no, no, we're not going to use beef today, so we're just going to go ahead and go back and find those sirloins somewhere here. Let's go ahead and see where the sirloins are. That's duck breast, chicken legs, some cheddar. Ah, pork tenderloin. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. And you're going to grab two pieces of that. Uh, that's tuna right next to pork, but we're going to go ahead and grab two pieces of that, put that on the... Now, two pieces is enough for me. It's enough to stuff my fat face in, but if you want to eat more, you can. So just go ahead and start with two pieces. We're gonna go ahead and put them out here and get everything ready. Next, I'm gonna be grabbing some of the additional ingredients and the sauces that you need. So we're gonna be looking up here. We're definitely gonna need lemon juice. Uh, we're gonna need soy sauce, definitely soy sauce. Soy sauce to give it that zesty, nice flavor. Mm -mm. Now this is an Asian recipe. Keep in mind, I got this from my parents a long time ago. It's very delicious. We definitely need soy sauce. We're gonna cook this up with a bit of olive oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and put olive oil right there. And then uh, let's see what we got here for the shaking spice. We got chili flakes. Chili flakes is really good. So we'll grab that because we wanna make some very spicy sirloin. Now if you don't have to use chili flakes, if you don't want chili flakes, you can use something else that's good for your taste but chili flakes always does the trick when it comes to cooking to sirloins um let's see here we're definitely going to need a little bit of salt salt goes well on everything and we're going to need some let's see ah lemon juice yes we definitely need that forgot all about that okay so lemon juice down and then we're going to look for the where is it uh, oh black pepper there it is black pepper okay black pepper now give it that nice really nice smoky flavor all right now that i got in all my ingredients together we're gonna go ahead and separate the ingredients and show you what i'm working with here this is exactly what you want so a couple lemons and we got some of the cloves of garlic some chili peppers and we're gonna throw some onions on the side, the bananas for us to eat. We're gonna put it over here. We don't want that to interfere with our cooking. Mm. And yes, we will be using the oranges, but I'll tell you why later on. It gives it that nice, zesty, sweet flavor. So orange is amazing for sirloin. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this very nice delicious dish first off you want to start with the um, cutting of the ginger all right the first thing we want to do is the cutting of the ginger and as you can see here you want to dice the ginger real nicely I'm gonna go ahead and dice it on the side and you can smell that mm, delicious gingerly flavors bursting from these gingers now these are gingers are super fresh 
and you also want to dice it up sideways. So you're gonna twist your knife and horizontally slice the ginger. The smaller the pieces, the better, because we need to make these pieces as small as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and dice it up this way. And this is just one ginger. We're gonna be dicing up two ginger. So take your time and dice up both ginger. All right, next we're gonna take the second ginger and go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna put it on the, the board and we're gonna cut it up. Mm -mm -mm. Another fresh ginger being cut. Ah, the aroma. While we were cutting up the ginger, I got a little hungry and I ate the bananas. So we're gonna grab some pears this time. And remember, this is actually an ingredient to the sirloin. So this time, we're not gonna eat the pear. So we're gonna place it right there. And I'm gonna continue chopping up stuff I need because everything needs to be chopped up. And the first reason why we're chopping up everything is because we're gonna put it in the blender and we're gonna blend it together and make this nice delicious sauce. But before we put it into the blender, we wanna chop it up to release the flavor, the aroma, the deliciousness of this very, very, very fresh ingredients. Next, we're gonna pick up the cutting board. We're gonna gently shift it to the side and let those gingers roll into the blender. And remember, there's gonna be a little mess when you're cooking, so don't be embarrassed. A little bit of ginger will fall out, but that's okay. You can always pick it up and place it right back in the blender because we haven't really cooked the food yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this right over here and I'm gonna grab these nice pieces of ginger and throw it right back into the blender. Next, I'm gonna cut up these onions. Now keep in mind, you want to shield your eyes because this is gonna cost you to cry. I can already see myself tearing up and sniffing. Now these delicious onions are needed for the sirloin to give it that very nice taste. Now that we chopped up the onion, we're gonna go ahead and also slide that into the uh, blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt that in there. And again, we're gonna make a little bit of a mess here. It's okay, we can grab some of it back up and it adds to that flavoring also. So it's quite all right. Next, I'm gonna teach you how to chop up the peppers. We're gonna chop up the chili peppers horizontally and get rid of the stems. That way we can unleash also that very nice, delicious flavors. And you can smell that flavor from a mile away. Those very nice, delicious flavors. And you see these stems on the chili peppers? You wanna throw that away. So since this is cooking, uh, we can go ahead and throw it on the floor because we're gonna have to clean up anyways later. So just like a real restaurant, we're gonna toss everything on the floor. And again, we're gonna go ahead and tilt the peppers right into that blender. Now this time it seems like more pepper has fallen off the uh, cutting board. So I'm gonna go, at, oh. Oh, I just discovered that you can directly click on the blender and, oh my God. All right, now that uh, I've cut up a new batch of peppers, I found out that you can actually uh, pour this directly into the blender without anything falling all over the place. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw away the stems again and we're gonna go ahead and directly put this peppers right into the blender and take a look at this this is amazing you can actually click on the blender and pour everything right in without everything dripping all over the place now that we chopped off all our ingredients we're gonna go ahead and take this to the blender and turn this baby on and get everything mixing let's go ahead and turn this on and start the mixing there we go and it should become nice and juicy which is not what you want but it'll have to do for now it's gonna be liquid form Where the hell is my blend? What the? I swear I just... Oh, son of a... It was dead, but I just spilled it. All right, so just for time's sake, I got the ingredients again. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the blender, and we're gonna blend it. All right, perfect. We got the blend that we needed. We're gonna go ahead and put this back on the table and prepare another special recipe but it's absolutely delicious. That's right, fresh squeezed lemon. Oh, hold on. There we go. Go ahead and grab these and I'm gonna squeeze it out for you. Uh, do we have a squeezer in this game? I don't think there's a squeezer. 
All right, since there's no squeezer yet, we're gonna go ahead and cut this lemon in half. I got another alternative for you. Uh, we're gonna put this knife right here. I'm gonna put the two lemons that I've cut up in half into that nice little pan right there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another piece of lemon because I need two lemons. Not just one lemon, two lemon. Now remember, two is a very important number when it comes to lemon. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this lemon right here. Bam! I'm gonna go ahead and grab this device, the little blender, and I'm gonna put it right in here, and I'm gonna tilt it down and mix everything together. These lemons are gonna be fresh squeezed, mm -mm, delicious lemon juice. So, I'm gonna grab this, go down on it, and spin it around. There we go. And you wanna nicely even it out. So you get that nice citrusy smell from the lemon. All right, next up we're gonna be working with the sirloin. So you wanna cut this diagonally to give it that nice, very nice plumpy look of sirloin pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and chop these into little pieces. And there we go. Those are the pieces you want. You want big, nice, chunky, tender pieces of sirloins in here. You don't want it to be too small. And again, you wanna gently pour it into this wok. So we're gonna go ahead and, there we go. All right, next you're gonna spice up the tenderloins. So we're gonna go ahead and use black pepper, even it out a bit, and put it right on the, the tenderloins. All right, let's see what else we have here. We're gonna salt it up also. Now remember, you wanna even out the salt also. So we're gonna go ahead and put close to 20 grams of salt on this. Go ahead and nicely even it out. 22 is good. And we're gonna go over here and use lemon juice. Now this is different from pure lemon itself. The lemons I squeezed are fresher. This is lemon juice, it gives it a different flavoring, so we're gonna use that in there to cook it. And then we're gonna grab some, the chili flakes. I'll go ahead and sauce that up into the lemon juice itself, and now give it that nice extra zing to the flavor. Mm -mm. So a bit of chili flakes, not too much though, just a bit so you get that nice red flavoring inside the lemon juice and then you're gonna grab some olive uh, soy sauce we're gonna grab some soy sauce I'm gonna put it right in there so I'm gonna go ahead and put that and just a drip of soy sauce should do the trick all right I am missing something else here I forgot one more ingredient ah yes the one thing I forgot I wanted to give this dish a little bit of an umph so I got some cucumbers some carrots some more mushrooms, some bell peppers, and we're gonna chop these into tiny little bits because we need to make this into a very delicious tenderloin. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these into tiny little pieces. This is gonna be giving that, that extra little oomph that it needs. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour all these ingredients we cut up right into the wok with the tenderloins. There we go. Now, just don't worry. It looks gross right now, but it's gonna look fantastic once it comes out. And you wanna go ahead and grab some of that olive oil and we're gonna go ahead and give it that little nice dash of olive oil there we go nice dash of olive oil now this is for my flavoring you don't have to do this if you don't want to but we're gonna go ahead and shake on some more chili flakes because we're making some spicy tenderloins all right we gave it some extra spice now we're gonna take the orange and we're gonna put it right here and we're gonna cut the orange in half because this orange is gonna be the final thing we put inside this all right there we go and you want to grab both pieces of orange and you just want to toss it right into the wok just go ahead and toss it on both sides to even out the flavors mmm and it's gonna give that nice very citrusy sweet yet flavorful taste to the tenderloins all right all right, the next step, now that we have everything in the wok, we're gonna place it right there. And we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a little timer. We're gonna cook this for about five minutes. Uh, five minutes is a good time to get the sauce cooking and making sure everything cooks nice and even. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the timer. All right, there's another timer on the table. I didn't realize it, but I'm gonna go ahead and set this to, there we go. Let's see, five minutes. All right, five minutes of cooking. Next, you're gonna turn the fire on high. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the, uh, 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 we're gonna grab the, ah, spatula. Yes, the spatula is our tool of choice. And we're gonna give it that nice little mix in the wok to mix up every ingredients. We're gonna mix it up nice and easy, so let me figure this out. What the, son of, what the f 
All right, guys, welcome back. And I've went ahead and remade the sauce, picked up every piece again that we can get this cooking going. No worries about dropping the pieces since it wasn't cooked too well. Uh, no worries because it adds the flavoring. People always wanted a nice flavoring to food, so you can go ahead and pick that up. This time, we're going to play it safe. By and you can hear that nice sizzling sounds. That's the cook of the tenderloins. You want that nice tenderloin to cook real nicely. Oh, it's hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the tongs. And we want to flip the pieces so that they nicely cook on the side. Oh, that was close. Uh, accident might occur, so you wanna be careful when flipping the, uh, the tenderloins a bit. And also, you wanna just spill a piece just a piece of the sauce on the floor, just for good luck. It's okay, you don't want too much sauce anyway, so you just wanna... All right, and you wanna keep them sizzling hot, and you wanna flip them each time so that they stay nice and, and hot. And once the piece is done, you can go ahead and lay out the first piece on the dish. Now remember, it's very important to keep it very nice and, uh, oops, uh, that's gonna, what the hell? Alright, so that's gonna give it a bit of flavoring when you put it on the floor like that. So you just wanna put a tenderloin right on the floor just a bit, just to give it that nice, delicious, earthy flavor. And then you wanna put it right back in the wok and let it cook some more. So let that flavor just seep right into this tenderloin. And oh, there goes the second one. And the second one is right inside that juice we spilled earlier. See, there is a purpose for that uh, sauce because it helps with the the flavoring of the tenderloins and then you're gonna put the tenderloins on the dish because this one is also done and uh, just give it a nice why is this so damn hard to grab you just All right, the reason I'm doing this is because it's for the flavoring again you want to pick it up and just slap it on the floor multiple times and just to give it that very extra nice flavoring ah there we go and once you're done with the flavoring, go ahead and put it right on the dish. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit hard to put it on the dish. It'll take some time to get used to, but you want to practice this while you're doing this. Ah, there we go. And now we're gonna grab some more tenderloins, and ah, we have to grab it vertically. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and put that right there. And the reason you don't want to drop this one on the floor is to still give it that extra different zesty taste. You want to drop this on the table instead. Now that I've gotten most of the tenderloins on the plate, you want to pour the rest onto the plate. And remember, presentation is very important when cooking with tenderloin. So you want to easily pour this right into the dish also. Uh, you don't need the sauce because the sauce is going to be all gooey and stuff. So you want to pour that on the table on the side and just get rid of the sauce and just get the vegetables right on that dish plate right there on the side and there we go you're gonna pour all that on the side get rid of some of them but not all of them just some of them and remember presentation guys presentation 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 and when we finish this it's gonna look very nice I'm gonna go ahead and instead of the sauce that we were using earlier we're gonna go ahead and just put in a little bit more soy sauce on the tenderloin just to give that nice extra zing there we go all right we're gonna all right so remember it's very hot i'm gonna have to grab this time i'm gonna use the spatula i'm gonna pick it up and again we're gonna fix this presentation and it's gonna look very nice by the end all right the first thing you want to do is Get some basil leaf and basil is a very nice touch on the finished product now actually uh, skip that let's go ahead and grab ourselves some mint instead mint mint is delicious and goes really well with tenderloin so we're gonna go ahead and grab some mint to finish up our dish and you want not just one mint not three mint but a couple mint so you can go ahead and grab a couple pieces of mint and we're gonna go ahead and put this right on top of the dish Remember folks, again, presentation. So we have to place this really well on the dish. And here we go. Just gonna go ahead and just dribble this mint leaves on the plate. Now this is, 
There we go. And we're going to go ahead and take this to the table right here and finish this up. Our nice extra flavors. Alright, we're going to take a picture of the dish and show you guys what it looks like compared to the real thing. There we go. And look at that. Look at that. Mm -mm. That's exactly how you want to make tenderloins. I'm going to take a picture of this and quickly compare it to the picture. I will show you guys what this dish would look like in real life and show you the comparison. So tasty! Mm -hmm. Definitely nailed it. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Remember to subscribe. If you have any requests for any dishes made, I'll cook for you anytime.